Hello, everybody. Welcome. Today, we are going to learn how to make a Venn diagram in Google Docs. Are you ready? Let's do this. Okay, so here on our blank Google Docs page, I can now choose Insert, Drawing, New. When I choose Drawing, New, it brings me into this canvas. This is my drawing canvas. I will create everything and anything I want right here on this canvas and I will use these tools. And here are so many line tools that are so helpful. And here you can insert shapes of every variety. Here is the text box. Let's go back to shapes. Let's draw a Venn diagram circle. Make it large, move it around, resize it as needed. And then we will eliminate the color from inside of the circle. Here we select the circle and we choose fill color. And from here, we can choose white, but no, we'll choose transparent because we want the circle to be clear like a piece of glass. And now I will insert my second circle for my Venn diagram. Look, I can undo it and I can actually just copy this one. I'll right click copy and now I will be sure that the other circle is exactly the same size and here are some keyboard shortcuts okay so let's paste so control V it is control V and now I move this new circle that I just pasted if you grab it from the edge here you can drag it and move it over now that it's moved over I just want to make sure it's aligned and now I choose text box for I will make many text boxes in and around this Venn diagram. The left side I will call lions. So I will type that in this text box. And now I will create another text box right over here. And in this text box, I will label it tigers. Next, we want to create a series of text boxes inside of the Venn diagram segments. I'll fill up each segment with the text that I want. So once you've typed all of the information that you want to include in your Venn diagram, you can just make sure that everything looks symmetrical and even and straight by moving your text boxes around. Okay, let's add some images. Image and search search the internet and this will search google images lion so many lion photos to choose from i want something that looks like it's a cartoon so i'll type lion clip art adding the word clip art just makes my results more colorful i'll use this lion example because it looks semi-realistic and it has a transparent background, which means it won't interfere with the lines of my circle. And I'll resize this image. Just grab it from the corner, make it a little smaller. So once I get it to the size that I want it to be, I can move the text box a little lower. Perfect. Okay, let's search for a tiger picture. And it takes a second to load, but when it does, you can adjust the size of the picture by grabbing it from a corner and then moving it around to get it exactly where you want it to be. I'm going to flip the image this way just for the sake of symmetry with my circles. Now I have both cats facing away from each other. And now it appears that I am just about done. However, I'm going to make everything a little darker and bolder to make it more contrasting and visible on the page. Remember, if your viewer can see your work more clearly, then the work looks nicer and it looks more professional. So let's look at all of the elements of my page. I have my drawing canvas. I have my text up here with my title. I have this writing opening paragraph here. But most importantly, this drawing canvas here 
I can go back to edit and if I go in there, it lets me move around individual items like these pictures or these text boxes up here or even these text boxes and of course these circles. And when I no longer want to edit, I hit save and close, which brings me back out into my full page document. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see all of you on the next one. Goodbye.